Hi, Representative. The meeting yesterday in uh, with uh, in Moscow with uh, Mr. Haftar sends out two messages. Uh, first of all, uh, despite all of the uh, diplomatic e efforts from all member states, uh, it hasn't been enough. There's been no resolution. We've abdicated the possibility of recovering the role that, uh, and this is my second point, have been taken over by Russia and Turkey. They have uh, been involved in the conflicts in Libya to pursue their own agendas um, and to uh, achieve a temporary ceasefire. Fire. Um, uh, however, Haftar wouldn't sign uh, in Moscow. However, this gives us an opportunity. If we want to prevent uh, another Syria on our borders, then we have to uh, focus on the Berlin summit on, summer, on Sunday with a new proposal, uh, one uh, that will bring together the uh, United Nations uh, uh, position and to involve European countries, first of all mine, and uh, neighboring countries such as uh, Tunisia and Algeria, as well as the whole of the Arab uh, uh, Islamic world, anyone who is interested in the uh, Libyan uh, situation. Uh, the people are suffering because of this war. That's the only way we will have the necessary neutrality to be able to bring about unification and uh, to uh, overcome the errors that we made in the past after the um, intervention in 2011. Very much, Mr. Vice President, there is a blue card for you. Would you accept it? Yes. Monsieur, it's your turn. The Gastalto, you will need your headphones. I do respect your view, and I remember you from the previous parliament. I know you well. I want you to tell us your view so that Mr. Borrell can hear. Now, the regime in Libya, in Tripoli, went into a deal with Erdogan, and on the basis of that, uh, Turkey has acquired in the eastern Mediterranean an economic, an exclusive economic zone. So. You know, I mean, Turkey could probably have an EEZ with Costa Rica at this point. So what does Mr. Borrell think we need to do in order to tackle and counter this aggressiveness on behalf of Turkey? Because they're talking about sending out research ships to a place which is uh, within the sovereign territory of Greece. Then the floor is yours. Caro Honorevole Mavridis. Uh, dear Mr. Mavridis, dear Costas, as um, you said, I have um, repeatedly criticised the agreement between Libya and Turkey, which I believe is not going in the right direction at all, and uh, calls into question the um, legitimate interests of two member states, Greece and Cyprus. And I don't think that this unilateral action uh, from a European Union candidate country is acceptable. The conflict is escalating quickly in Libya and uh, might lead to actual conflict um, to the geopolitical interests that are present on the ground. And this is something that must be avoided at all costs. Uh, for this, it's fundamental for the European Union to be more present. And I have faith in the high representative uh, in the discussions in Berlin and that there will be um, uh, concrete proposals that will help us move towards the um, unification of institutions before it's too late. Is Mr. Naira Makis uh, from the PPE for one minute. The floor is yours, Mr. Thank you, Madam President.